now that we've mentioned Philadelphia. It is there we find the struggle for independence take shape. Even before the Continental Congress convened, however, there were earlier efforts to unite the colonies. One took place during the French and Indian War. Benjamin Franklin wrote the Albany Plan of Union when he was on his way to a meeting of the colonies in New York during the summer of 1754. Who would know that this would become a precursor to the Declaration of Independence? Benjamin Franklin also distinguished himself during the French and Indian War in military service. He built forts and acted as the quartermaster for the efforts of General Braddock. Perhaps it was then that Franklin met a colonel in the Virginia militia who rode with General Braddock named George Washington. When Braddock's army was attacked in the Allegheny Mountains and the general was suddenly killed, it was George Washington who assumed command. Once again, we are on the trail of George Washington during the French and Indian War in western Pennsylvania. It was right near here where the first battles actually took place. And it was here that Lieutenant Colonel Washington of the Virginia Militia supervised construction of a fort to defend against attacks. It may look rustic now, but it served the purpose in its time. Fort necessity. The final stop on this edition of Bicycling Through History is in the city of Pittsburgh, where a fort was built and battles were fought at a strategic point on the western frontier. This site is located at the junction of three rivers, which now has a big stadium. A city developed here after years of bloodshed, and it has become an industrial giant. The present day cultures are reflected in an annual celebration. the Three Rivers Festival in Fort Duquesne, Pittsburgh. It is sometimes easy to forget that people once struggled just to survive in these parts. Yet they did and they prospered. This is the essence of the American frontier spirit.